Have you ever sat in your doctor's office feeling proud that you've been eating more fruit only to hear the shocking words, your potassium is too high? If this keeps up dialysis, maybe in your future. It feels unfair, doesn't it? You're trying to do the right thing, yet suddenly even something as innocent as a banana becomes a dangerous trigger that pushes your kidneys closer to failure. This is the hidden trap millions of Americans with chronic kidney disease fall into every single day, often without even realizing it, until it's too late. Dr. Johnny, a leading kidney health expert, explains that high potassium isn't just a number on your lab results. When damaged kidneys can't filter potassium, it quietly builds up in your blood. Then without warning, it can strike your heart, causing deadly arrhythmias, even cardiac arrest. That's why so many patients who thought they were doing everything right end up being rushed to the ER, confused about how it all went wrong. But here's the truth you're not hearing often enough. Protecting your kidneys doesn't mean giving up fruit entirely. It means learning the difference between the fruits that slowly poison your kidneys and the ones that quietly heal them. And the good news. There are fruits so low in potassium, so safe and kidney-friendly, that they can become your daily allies in delaying dialysis and extending your life. In this video, we'll uncover the top six low potassium fruits that can keep your kidneys strong, explain the exact serving sizes that protect you, and share practical tips on how to enjoy them every day without fear. Real science, real food, and real solutions, you can start today. So if you've ever wondered whether fruit is friend or foe to your kidneys, stay with us because what you're about to learn could change the way you eat and the way you live for the rest of your life. When doctors talk about kidney-safe fruits, they often start with one of the simplest yet most powerful options, the lemon. It may look ordinary on your kitchen counter, but inside this small yellow fruit lies a powerful shield against kidney damage. Think about it. Half a lemon has only about 80 milligrams of potassium, putting it well below the danger zone for anyone with CKD. That means you get all the refreshing benefits without forcing your kidneys to struggle. Let me tell you about Margaret, a 67-year-old grandmother from Ohio who used to suffer from painful kidney stones every single year. Her doctor suggested she start drinking warm lemon water every morning, just half a lemon squeezed into a glass before breakfast. Within a year, her stone attack stopped completely. What saved her? The natural citrate in lemons. Citrate works like a microscopic bodyguard, binding to calcium before it can form crystals. In fact, research shows lemons contain the highest citrate levels of any fruit, making them a frontline defense against kidney stones, and the ER visits they often trigger at 3 in the morning. But the power of lemons goes even deeper. They contain almost no sodium, just 1 milligram per fruit, and minimal phosphorus at 9 milligrams, both critical when your kidneys are struggling. Add to that a strong dose of vitamin C, which acts like a protective shield around your kidney cells, reducing the oxidative stress that slowly leads to organ failure. That's why Dr. Johnny often tells his patients that something as simple as a lemon can be more powerful than many expensive supplements. The best way to use lemons? Start your morning with warm lemon water about 20 to 30 minutes before breakfast. If the tartness is too strong, add just a drop of honey, but not too much since you don't want to spike your blood sugar. And here's a smart trick freeze, lemon juice, and ice cube trays so you always have a safe single serve ready. Now here's where it gets interesting. Lemons may protect you from stones and oxidative damage, but they can't defend your kidneys from everything. Because sometimes the real danger doesn't come from crystals, it comes from silent infections creeping up your urinary tract. And that's why the next fruit on this list is so critical. If lemons are your defense against painful stones, then cranberries are your secret weapon against something even more dangerous, silent urinary tract infections. Every UTI that climbs up into your kidneys leaves permanent scars, and the more scars, the closer you get to dialysis. That's why this little red berry deserves a place on your plate if you're serious about protecting your kidneys. Take Robert, a retired carpenter from Michigan. For years, he battled repeat urinary infections that always seemed to come back no matter how many antibiotics he took. His doctor finally suggested he add half a cup of fresh cranberries into his daily routine. Within months, the cycle of infections broke. He still enjoys his berries today, sometimes on oatmeal, sometimes blended into a smoothie, and his kidneys are safer because of it. The science backs his story. Just half a cup of cranberries contains only 44 milligrams of potassium, one of the lowest numbers of any fruit.
sodium barely one milligram, phosphorus only six. That makes cranberries a dream come true for CKD patients. But their real magic lies in compounds called proanthocyanidins. These act like nature's nonstick coating, preventing harmful bacteria from latching onto your bladder and kidneys. Instead of sticking and multiplying, bacteria slide right out of your system. That's why every cranberry you eat could literally be one less scar on your kidneys. And here's a money-saving fact. Half a cup of cranberries costs just 20 to 35 cents. Fresh ones should be shiny bright red and even bounce when you drop them a sign of peak freshness. They'll last two months in your fridge or you can freeze them for year-round protection. Just one caution if you're on blood-thinning medications like Warfarin, keep your cranberry intake moderate and always talk to your doctor. So yes, cranberries guard your kidneys from infections that no lemon water can fight. But infections are only part of the battle. Sometimes your kidneys struggle not because of bacteria, but because they're drowning in excess fluid. And that's when a surprising fruit loaded with water itself becomes your kidney's best friend. If cranberries fight off infections, then watermelon fights in a completely different way by flushing your kidneys with nature's own dialysis machine. With over 92% water, every bite of watermelon works like a gentle cleanse, helping your kidneys push out toxins without the harsh side effects of medical dialysis. And the best part, it's still low in potassium. One cup gives you only about 170 milligrams, keeping you well within the safe zone. Let's talk about Angela, a 63-year-old teacher from Florida. She used to dread summer because the heat left her feeling bloated and exhausted. Her nephrologist suggested she snack on chilled watermelon cubes instead of salty crackers. Within weeks, her swelling reduced her blood pressure stabilized and her energy returned. She calls watermelon her summer medicine now, and she isn't wrong. The science explains why. Watermelon contains L-citrulline, a natural compound that improves blood flow to your kidneys, ensuring they get the oxygen and nutrients they need. Better circulation equals better filtration. And let's not forget lycopene, the antioxidant that gives watermelon its rich red color. In a 26-year study of more than 7,600 CKD patients, those with higher blood lycopene levels had a 22% lower risk of dying from any cause. That's not hype, that's decades of data showing real protection. Here's how to make the most of it. Enjoy two cups daily during peak season July through September. Eat it fresh, freeze it into ice cubes, or blend it into an agua fresca with mint. Even the rind and seeds hold extra antioxidants that support both kidney and liver detox. Just be cautious if you're diabetic or on strict fluid limits, too much watermelon at once can tip the balance. But here's where things get exciting. You've seen how water can heal, but not all tropical fruits are created equal. In fact, most are off limits for CKD. Yet there's one exotic fruit that breaks every rule. It's sweet, refreshing, and still safe for your kidneys. And that's what we're uncovering next. Most tropical fruits are off the table when you have kidney disease bananas. Oranges, cantaloupe, they all carry too much potassium. But pineapple is the rare exception, the tropical fruit that bends the rules in your favor. Just one cup has about 180 milligrams of potassium, still under the safe limit for CKD patients. That means you can enjoy a burst of sunshine on your plate without sending your kidneys into overload. Consider James, a 70-year-old veteran from Texas. He used to crave tropical flavors, but had to give them up after his potassium levels spiked. When his renal dietitian introduced pineapple as a safe option, it was a game changer. He started eating half a cup in the mornings, and not only did he satisfy his sweet tooth, but his inflammation markers actually improved. What felt like a treat turned out to be therapy. That's thanks to bromelain, a natural enzyme unique to pineapple. Studies show bromelain can reduce inflammatory markers like IL-8 by up to 40%. For your kidneys, that means less tissue irritation and better filtration. Add in a powerful dose of vitamin C over 100% of your daily needs in just one cup, and you've got an antioxidant shield protecting kidney cells from oxidative stress. Unlike many fruits that spike blood sugar, pineapple enzymes actually help stabilize glucose, making it one of the most balanced tropical choices for CKD patients. Here's how to use it. Eat half a cup of fresh chunks about 30 minutes before breakfast. That timing allows bromelain to work on an empty stomach for maximum anti-inflammatory impact. Always choose fresh, golden-skinned pineapples with a sweet aroma. Avoid canned varieties loaded with sugar that erase the benefits. 
One quick note, if you're taking blood thinners like Warfare and check with your doctor first, since bromelain may enhance their effect. And listen closely because if you thought pineapples were surprising, the next fruit might shock you even more. It not only fights kidney inflammation, it also reduces uric acid and even helps you sleep at night. Stick with me because what comes next could be the missing link in your kidney healing journey. If pineapple brings tropical relief, tart cherries deliver something even more powerful. They fight the silent inflammation that eats away at your kidneys day after day. Inflammation is the slow, invisible fire that pushes CKD patients closer to dialysis, and tart cherries are one of the few fruits that directly cool that fire down. Half a cup contains just 173 milligrams of potassium, well within the safe zone and almost no sodium or phosphorus. Let me tell you about Elaine, a 65-year-old nurse from California. She struggled with gout flare-ups that often made her nights unbearable, and every attack meant more stress on her kidneys. When she started drinking tart cherry concentrate before bed, her gout attacks dropped dramatically, and she finally began sleeping through the night. What she didn't realize at first was that she was also protecting her kidneys. The reason is anthocyanins, the deep red pigments that make tart cherries so vibrant. These compounds act like specialized firefighters targeting the exact type of cellular inflammation that damages kidney tissue. In one 2014 study, Montmorency tart cherry concentrate lowered uric acid by 36% and reduced inflammatory markers by 29%. That's a double win, less gout, less kidney inflammation. And as if that weren't enough, tart cherries also contain natural melatonin, the hormone that helps regulate deep sleep. For CKD patients, restorative sleep is crucial because that's when the kidneys repair themselves overnight. Here's how you can use them. Enjoy half a cup of fresh or frozen tart cherries in the evening or mix a small amount of concentrate into water before bed. Always choose tart over sweet varieties. The difference in protective compounds is significant. And if you're managing blood sugar, start with smaller servings and monitor your response. Now think about this. Cherries don't just soothe your nights, they strengthen your kidneys while you sleep. But sometimes the most powerful healing doesn't come from exotic fruits at all. Sometimes it's hidden in something plain, sitting quietly in your fruit bowl, overlooked every single day. And that's where our final fruit, the humble pear, changes everything. Sometimes the most powerful medicine hides in plain sight. The humble pear might look ordinary, but for your kidneys, it's nothing short of extraordinary. One medium pear contains only about 116 milligrams of potassium, making it one of the safest fruits for CKD patients. It's virtually sodium-free, very low in phosphorus, and gentle even for sensitive stomachs. Meet Harold, a 72-year-old farmer from Kansas. After his diagnosis of stage 4 CKD, he felt like his diet was shrinking by the day. Every doctor's visit seemed to come with another list of foods he couldn't eat. But when his dietitian suggested pears, Harold was skeptical. How could something so plain make a difference? Yet within weeks of eating one pear with the skin every afternoon, his digestion improved, his energy stabilized, and he said he finally felt like food was giving something back instead of taking more away. The science explains why. Pears are rich in pectin, a soluble fiber that acts like a sponge in your gut binding toxins before they reach your kidneys. That means less work for already struggling organs. Their skin holds quercetin, a powerful anti-inflammatory compound that creates a shield around kidney tissue, protecting it from daily oxidative stress. And unlike acidic fruits that can upset digestion pairs, are gentle, sweet, and naturally easy on the system, perfect for seniors balancing multiple health issues. Here's how to use them. Eat one small pear daily with the skin intact. You can enjoy it as a morning snack, slice it into salads, or pair it with a little almond butter for extra protein and healthy fats. Rotate between Bartlett Anjou or Bosque varieties for flavor without losing kidney benefits. Just start slow. If you're new to high fiber, half a pear at first is enough until your body adjusts. But here's the bigger picture. One pear may not feel dramatic, yet small consistent choices like this are what determine whether your kidneys decline faster or stay strong for years to come. And now that we've covered all six fruits, it's time to bring everything together to reveal the golden rules that keep you safe, the pitfalls to avoid, and the hope that makes every bite worth it. Don't miss this next part because it could be the difference between living in freedom and living on dialysis. Living with chronic kidney disease can feel overwhelming, but here's the truth. 
I want you to carry with you. Your kidneys are not powerless. Every choice you make, every meal you build, and every fruit you put on your plate can tip the scale either toward decline or toward protection. The six fruits we've shared today may seem simple. Lemons, cranberries, watermelon, pineapple, tart, cherries, and pears. But in reality, they are powerful allies. They give your body hydration, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory compounds, and most importantly, safe nutrition that supports your kidneys without overwhelming them. I know some of you watching might feel discouraged right now, maybe even scared after hearing the word dialysis in your last doctor's appointment. But please don't let fear control your story. You are not alone in this journey. There are millions of people making the same adjustments every day, and many of them are living stronger, healthier, and more independent lives because they made consistent, kidney-friendly choices. Remember, it doesn't take perfection. It takes patience, small steps, and the courage to stay committed. So here's my encouragement. Start with just one change today. Maybe it's a glass of warm lemon water in the morning or half a cup of cranberries in your oatmeal. Maybe it's replacing a high-potassium snack with a refreshing pear. Small steps become powerful habits, and habits are what protect your kidneys for the long run. Before you go, make sure to save this video so you can come back to the serving sizes and tips whenever you need them. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and turn on all notifications. That way you'll never miss the latest research-backed advice, the most practical kidney care tips, and the inspiration that can make this journey easier for you and your loved ones. We post regularly, so you're always supported with the newest insights in kidney health. And here's my final message of hope. Kidney damage doesn't happen overnight, and healing doesn't either. But your consistent choices today can delay dialysis for years, sometimes even decades. You are stronger than you think, and your body is still capable of protecting you if you give it the right tools. Imagine waking up with less swelling, more energy, and the confidence that you're steering your health in the right direction. That future is possible, and it starts with small, steady steps. Thank you for trusting me and for taking this journey with us. Stay encouraged, stay consistent, and remember, you are not just surviving with CKD, you can thrive. I'll see you in the next video.